Hi everybody, this is Troy, known as RC Pongo on the forums, and I am making an intro to making puzzles using 3D printing. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the process that I use uh, to make my own puzzles. And uh, this is the first video, it'll be just an overview, uh, and I hope to get into videos that follow that actually go through the steps that uh, somebody can, can pick this up and do for themselves. But this one is a little bit of a show off just to uh, kind of kind of show how everything works. And uh, the cube that you're seeing right now is one of my latest ones that's uh, uh, at the moment causing me some issues. I, I need to do some redesigning of the interior. It's it's a little bit uh, floppy when I hold it, and uh, I want to I want to re re fix things a little bit here. But uh, <clears throat> these are the type of puzzles you'll be able to make. And uh, let me uh, let me just get started uh, by bringing up the uh, a simple three by three. Now. The software that I'm using right here is Blender 3D. It is free open source software, so anyone is is able to just go get it and use it. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve. Uh, in my subsequent videos, I will I will show you some things, but uh, I, I am going to speed through things, so you will need to kind of spend some time looking at some other videos, perhaps, uh, to kind of get yourself up to speed on that. But uh, let's take a look. What I have here is a, a basic Rubik's Cube. And this is actually my version 3 core. And I've, I've actually gone backwards a little bit, uh, backwards to a more primitive design on the inside. Uh, this is more like an older style 3-way-3 uh, three three mechanism in here. And the reason I've gone to this style is just because it, it works better for 3D printing. Uh, I had some, some fancy curves and, and everything in here, but I do a lot of post-processing where I'm, I'm sanding and filing. And I just found that to be... Um, very difficult with those kind of shapes and and with these everything was much more simple and the uh, the cube mechanism actually worked better for me in the end so so right now uh, as a version 3 this is this is my main core design <coughs> you can see my my cap design here uh, which which allows the caps to stay on uh, permanently basically they don't they don't fall off because you need to uh, remove an edge piece to slide the cap out vertically uh, if you're looking at this one here, and uh, that design has been working great uh, since version one, and I I don't see any need to change that one. But uh, so let's just take a look now that that everything's built. Uh, the only thing that's not 3D printed would be the screws and the springs, and then this blue piece in here is a core, uh, which could be 3D printed. But I use the screws and springs from a Guanlong, and the core uh, is in there too, and I I figure there's no reason not to use it. So um, <clears throat> that's this is our base. So let's bring up everything else again, and let's start showing you what we can do with this. First shape mod that everybody is familiar with is probably a windmill cube, or or maybe a Fisher cube, uh, or possibly a cutter cube. So let's uh, let's let's take a look at those. Now, if you can imagine that the cube here is cut, um, <clears throat> imagine it's a larger cube that's been cut. Um, if, if we rotate the cutting cube uh, by a certain amount of angles, you'll see everything is going to shift here. And if I shift it about 30 degrees, I'm going to get this. And what we're looking at here right now is a windmill cube. <clears throat> now I'm going to continue rotating that until we get about 45 degrees. And I actually will make it exactly 45 degrees. Uh, and this is what you're going to be familiar with as a, as a Fisher cube. So if I make this shape mod here, and I can just select a few pieces here, and I'll just take a look at those individual pieces, and I can see what they look like, and those can be printed. Now, what I usually do here at this point is I go in and finish, and I, I round all these edges off more uh, once I get to this point. But for this, this is just to show uh, how some of these shape mods are made. So uh, the next step would be uh, if I were to look at uh, let's see, we've got a windmill, we've got a fissure. Uh, a slice cube would be a variation of this where now we've rotated on this way in 45. What if we went on another axis in 45 degrees? So let's go this way, also 45 degrees. And now we're going to get a cube, and this is known as a slice cube. And I haven't really seen a mass produced one of these, but it, it has been made and does have a name. The 
cube that I started this video with is a 3 by 3 by 5 version of this cube right here. Uh, and you can see what that looks like. Now, how about an axis cube? Well, an axis cube is very similar to this. Uh, we'll just add another 19 and a half degree rotation here. And you can see now I've got an axis cube. So let's see here. Let me return, return this here. Let's go back to uh, a 45. Let's start with a, a Fisher cube again. And what I'm going to do here is I will select the M slice on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the M slice 45 degrees internally. Uh, not rotating like you would actually solve a cube, but rotating it internally. And what you get is this design that's got very interesting trapezoids. And indeed, this is my trapezoid edge cube uh, design that you can actually use. Uh, you, can, you can download and, and print your own on Thingiverse. Uh, let me hide a few of these pieces and you can see uh, <coughs> different from a from a Fisher cube uh, this has the centers essentially up on the corners here uh, so if I select the M slice again here and do that move again you'll see what's actually going on here um, the mechanism inside is free to turn but it's only how it's being cut off on the outside that's being affected here and this allows me to really go and have fun with my designs. So let's bring these back and let's see the next cube let's look at um, let me return all of my rotations uh, to normal and if we did a a wall cube uh, that would be a good one to look at so we want to take our equator slice here and we can rotate that say 45 degrees and now to do this with a regular cube without doing this in the computer you would have to uh, you would have to uh, rotate your angle uh, rotate your middle layer you'd have to cut off your corners and you have to rebuild with some kind of putty uh, the, the areas that are missing but with with 3d design we can just make these parts and uh, I can just then print out these pieces individually that I need and I'm and I'm done uh, that's a little bit of a shortcut uh, for me and I actually really like the precision of being able to 3D print. Uh, my my hand making skills aren't so good when it comes to some of that. Uh, so a ghost cube, I, I don't know exactly uh, the angles on a ghost cube so I'm, I'm going to make this up a little bit but similar to a, a wall cube here or a, a cutter cube where you've got this, um, if we select our top layer, I'm just going to rotate this uh, uh, I'll rotate this back uh, this way a little bit just to offset it and I'll take our bottom layer and we'll um, uh, we'll rotate that uh, the other way a little bit and so we get a complete complete offset going here and then finally what we'll do here is we will take um, and I gotta grab our cutting cube and now this is going to be rotated similar to what we did with the axis cube but uh, as I can rotate this, I can come up with um, very crazy designs. And everything you see here is a fully functional cube. There, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing that's changing other than the outside shapes. The internal, uh, the internal mechanism is all staying the same. And I'll actually um, hide some of these so you can see the inside here. And so as this rotates around, you can see. Uh, it's just changing the cut. It's changing how that works, but it doesn't change anything inside. It's it's only affecting these uh, these outer pieces. So there's that. Uh, let me just take and give you a give you a quick look at uh, the three by three by five that I had mentioned previously. Uh, so I made this design. Uh, I normally don't make a design that you can buy commercially uh, or mass produced just because it's it's easier and faster and generally better um, but in this case I wanted the challenge of it and uh, I went with a half proportional one which just has these blocks a little bit taller here uh, and then I'm able to print these out now I've got these parts and just as I did in the other examples uh, we could look at some different things so we could look at what does a Fisher cube look like in a 3x3x5 
we can look at a uh, uh, what's an axis cube look like and so um, I'll just plug in these numbers here and uh, here is an axis cube 3 by 3 by 5 and all I would have to do is is go around and round off these edges a little bit more and, and print this out so there you go and the final thing I'll leave you with is uh, again on the 3 by 3 by 5 I'll call up a a uh, trapezoid edge cube again my own design and what it would look like with that particular model and uh, anyways thanks for watching I intend to start uh, from the beginning with some some basic tutorials to show you how you can build these yourself and if you have access to a 3d printer uh, hopefully someday uh, some more of you can also start building some shape mods uh, thanks for watching